Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID, is an automatic identification method relying on remotely storing and retrieving data using devices called RFID chips or transponders, which receive and transmit radio waves. Each transponder consists of two primary parts. The first part is the integrated circuit, which is used for storing and processing information and modulating and demodulating a radio frequency signal. The second part of the chip is the antenna for receiving and transmitting this radio frequency signal. RFID chips are divided into two different categories, active and passive. Active RFID tags have their own internal power source, while passive RFID tags have no internal power supply. The minute electrical current induced in the antenna by the incoming radio frequency signal provides just enough power for the integrated circuit in the passive tag to power up and transmit a response. An RFID system consists of tags, one or more readers, and a network system for data handling. RFID has existed for more than 20 years, but it is only in recent years that it has gained significant popularity for objective identifications in various supply chains. RFID has also been applied to the livestock farming industry for disease control, breeding management, and stock management. The application of RFID in livestock identification has led to demands for small RFID tags that can be attached to or in an animal's ear. Existing RFID tags for this application are passive and mostly operate in the low frequency region. However, low frequency tags can only be read at close range and may not perform well when multiple tags are simultaneously present in the interrogation field. Hence, attention is now turning to the use of ultra-high frequency tags for livestock identification. Ultra-high frequency tags not only give better read range, but also support higher data rates. Broader adoption of RFID technology is helping drive down the price for end users. Barcoded visual tags represent a lower cost alternative to RFID. However, the automation of data collection and ability to easily transfer records from RFID readers may actually represent a lower net cost per application when you calculate the cost of labor and possibly of error or lost information with visual identification. A growing number of countries are exporting animals outside of their borders. This global trade in livestock has led to the establishment of record keeping standards that use RFID technology as the main animal identification method. Many animal identification systems currently being used today throughout the world use International Organization for Standardization or ISO based standards. While some countries have not yet adopted the ISO, standards for animal tracking Countries such as Canada, the United States, Australia, Europe, and others have adopted those standards. Livestock producers have a choice to capture as much or as little information as is needed. Some of this information may include birth weight, birth date, sire or dam information, and inoculation information. RFID allows for improved data capture and data management for key performance indicators. RFID facilitates the automatic capture and sharing of information with multiple parties such as is found in private or public traceability programs. In its simplest application, an RFID tag verifies animal identity electronically. When used as part of a performance or quality database, the resulting data can be a powerful tool to provide management information for improvement of genetics enhanced feeding programs, and evaluation of other variables in animal production. Inventory management is a driving force behind animal tracking with RFID technology. Being aware of the number and location of stock at all times allows ranchers and other livestock producers to optimize the livestock's value. RFID technology helps livestock producers round up stock more efficiently, provide feed and water at optimal locations when necessary, and may even handle some basic health monitoring such as the frequency with which animals visit feeding stations. A decrease in frequency of visits to feeding stations may be an indication of illness. 
RFID technology is frequently deployed at automatic feeding stations and in slaughterhouses so that the animal's carcass can be accounted for. Import and export considerations can also be monitored to assure customs authorities can verify the animal's health history.